gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Hey, friends. Do you want to do something fun? Okay, let's check out some things that make you say wow. One, does a turtle have a chin? Nope. Does a kangaroo have a chin? Nope. Does a chimpanzee have a chin? Nope. Humans, that's us, are the only animals with chins. That makes me go, wow. Two, grown-ups have 206 bones in their bodies, but newborn little babies have like 300. That makes me go, wow. Three. Is an avocado a berry? No way. Yes way. An avocado is a berry. That makes me go. Say it with me. Whoa! Whoa! Four. Is a strawberry a berry? It must be, you say. Nope. Neither are raspberries or blackberries. That makes me go. Say it with me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hey. Speaking of things that make you go wow, I'm getting a call from my buddy, Grace. Let's see what she's up to. Hey, Grace. Hey, Kelly. I'm just working on something that I just know you would love if I could just get it to work. Whoa, Grace, what are you working on? Well, I'm glad you asked, Kelly. I've been trying to build a special watch. You know that thing that people wear on their wrist to tell the time? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to build a watch that not only is waterproof, but will flow in the water and, and, save UV fall in. Oh, cool! Do you fall in the water a lot, Grace? Not really. Why? Um, I just thought that would be why you're building something to save you from that. Nah, I just like to build stuff that saves people from stuff, you know? Sure, let me see what else you got. Hmm. Oh, so my parents say to be very careful with some things in the kitchen, especially knives. Mine too! I mean, I get it. They are sharp. Right? But this machine will save you from that. It's called the Easy Make Jamble Slot. It will butter my toast and spread the jam at Ooh. the same time. No more need for knives to spread butter than spread the jam. No way. This thing is a lifesaver if I could just get it to work. What's wrong with it? Well, Right now, it tries to fold the slice of bread into a paper airplane. That's no good. That doesn't help me save anything. It just ruins bread. Yes, that would be not saving anyone from anything. Well, maybe something in our Bible story will help. Let's check it out. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Matthew chapter 14. Jesus told his friends to get on a boat and head back over to the other side of the sea. While they did, Jesus went up on top of the mountainside to pray to God. When Jesus finished, it was late at night and he was all by himself. Jesus' friend's boat was pretty far out on the water. It was windy and the waves were pounding against the side of the boat. Just before the sun came up, Jesus went out to the boat. Jesus didn't use another boat. Jesus didn't swim. Jesus walked on the water to get to the boat. His friends saw this and thought Jesus was a ghost. They had never seen something like this before and were really scared. Right away, Jesus shouted out to them, Be brave! It's me, Jesus! Don't be afraid. Peter said, is it really you, Jesus? If it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus told Peter to come. Peter stepped onto the water. Step by step, he walked on the water towards Jesus. But then he got scared. He saw the wind and began to sink. Instead of looking at Jesus, 
Peter started looking at what made him scared. Peter cried, Jesus, save me. Jesus was right there. He reached his hand down and saved Peter. Jesus asked Peter why he looked away. The wind calmed down and Jesus and Peter climbed out the boat. Jesus was there for Peter when he was sinking and Jesus will be there for us. Wow, Jesus has the power to save. What do you think, Grace? I think I don't need to try to fix everything or save everyone on my own. That's what I think. Jesus has us covered. I still think you should try to build the easy, make, whatever. It sounds cool. Really? Yeah. Remember when Peter got scared in the story? Um, yeah, why? Well, it's like you said. Jesus has us covered. It's a good thing that Jesus was there when Peter got scared, right? Oh, I get it. So when we keep trying, and if we fall, Jesus will be there to save us, just like Peter. Yeah, so whether we're building machines that spread jam, or floating watches, or doing something else, we can always be ready for what God will do, because... Wow! Jesus has the power to save! That's really cool, Callie. That is the motivation I needed to build my next machine. A machine that will sort all my gumballs by color. Hmm, helpful. Friends, I'm so glad Jesus saves us. And not just from danger. Jesus saves us by being our friend when we are lonely. He saves us by healing us when we are sick. But most of all, he saves us by showing us how to follow God. It's been so much fun. Thanks for learning and growing with me. 